Hello everyone, my name is Tom Clancy and I am about to rant. Today I want to take a moment to talk to you about video game reviews and not specifically about uh, just video games uh, reviews in general, but about a very particular subset of those reviews. Um, so first off, I actually kind of enjoy video game reviews, especially once you've taken the time to get to know certain reviewers and games journalists and you can kind of start to see the people with whom uh, your interests start to overlap. I also enjoy them to some extent as well, just for, you know, they can be some really well thought out commentary on that particular game and games in general. But the one type of game uh, that I personally think is poorly served by video game reviews is the MMO. Um, recently, uh, Destiny came out on uh, September 9th, and about six, seven days after that, Pretty much everybody had the review. Now, as I mentioned in Mimo's Tavern the other day, Destiny you know, was kind of sitting in at around you know the high 70s in terms of its review scores. At least uh, that's what the average appears to be from Metacritic. Now, I haven't played Destiny. I'm just going to say that right now. I, I played uh, the open or not the open, the closed beta and the closed alpha uh, earlier on in the summer. Um, I thought it was pretty fun. It felt like kind of standard MMO fare to me, except, you know, it was a shooter as opposed to your standard, you know, MMO. But the problem with all these reviews is that they're playing an incomplete game. You know, at the time that most of the reviews were published on Monday, uh, September 15th? Yes, Monday, September 15th, Vault of Glass, the first raid, hadn't even opened. Uh, there was just a complete lack of all of the end game content. Prior to that, the game was about leveling from 1 to 20 and getting slightly more powerful along the way. The game after that becomes an entirely different experience, as with all MMOs. Um, the example I will always fall back to is World of Warcraft, simply because it's been around the longest, and in my opinion, it is still the best. Um, though a lot of good ones have come up after it. World of Warcraft in its leveling experience, is a completely different game than World of Warcraft in its raid and endgame experience. On one hand, you have essentially a story-driven, well, somewhat story-driven uh, quest to go from being a brand new character to being an epic-level hero. And then after you're an epic level hero, you enter into this world of other epic level creatures and villains and heroes, and it just becomes an entirely different gameplay experience. And that is something that is missing from most reviews. Now, as a counterpoint to that, uh, reviewers don't have all the time that players have to really sit down and dive into these games like we can. Uh, they have schedules, they have deadlines, they have other games they have to play and review. You know, they have to get paid. Um, so, to some extent, we can't expect them to put the hours and time into the game that we would to build a more complete review. Um, so, weighing both of those opinions in mind, uh, I'm not just going to complain. Because complaining is just saying you don't like how something is but then not offering a way to fix it. I'm going to critique, and in offering my way to fix it, I'm going to propose that MMOs uh, shouldn't have a standard review, but instead a multi-stage review, um, with one review being the initial impressions, being I have spent some time playing it, I've leveled it, um, this is what I've liked, this is what I haven't liked, and then subsequent reviews, subsequent stages, being, I've had the opportunity to get into the end game. This is how I'm feeling about the new patch with the different balance changes. Because MMOs aren't static like a standard single player experience, or even they're even more amorphous than something like Call of Duty that is constantly going under uh, undergoing balance tweaks. Because there's more to it than just new maps and new guns. They're adding entire new entirely new areas of content like uh, using World of Warcraft's most previous expansion we came out of the, or the game came out of the bat or came out of the gate with 10 levels of new content um, no five five levels sorry getting war I've been playing the warlords of Draenor beta and that's really kind of messing with 
my head. Um, so you had five levels of new content, all of the new zones, three different raids, uh, making up one tier. Then a couple months later, they dropped a story patch, including a brand new daily hub. The couple months after that, we had a new tier of raid content. Then we had another story patch, and then we had the final tier of raid content. Trust me, we've been sitting on that now for a year, and we're still waiting for Warlords of Draenor to come out. But hey, these games change, and not in small ways either. I mean, you know, in Cataclysm, uh, from one patch to the next, you had Arms Warriors being the absolute god tier of PvP to being the guy you don't want to have on your team. I mean, it's just, there are huge changes at play with these. And reviews, in my opinion, have to change to reflect this. So, that's where I stand. MMOs need a different kind of review to really kind of get across the different kind of game that they are. So, yeah, that's it. Um, if you agree, if you disagree, please leave your comments uh, below. Um, though I do ask that you please keep things civil. I know it's the internet, and I know it's hard, but come on, guys, we're better than that. So, once again, I'm Tom Clancy, and I just finished a rant. See you next week. <laughs>